we are 20 miles from the Canadian border on the way to our great Canadian Alaskan adventure and I'm nervous. Nervous to say the least. We're good people I think but crossing the border... We're, we're good people? Yeah I think we're good people. <laughs> I don't have anything to hide but crossing the border is always stressful when you have your home with you because are the cats set up right? Are, are the, the documents in order for the RV? Are, there's so many questions. It's a little scary. Yep. And just so we fully understand how Sina feels about the whole situation, he looks, he looks really stressed about it all. Yep. They have so much power. They can do whatever they want. It's amazing. Not whatever they want, but pretty close. Here we go. It's crazy how much my heart's pumping. <laughs> Just nervous about what the heck they're going to ask us about. Keep left. RVs. Okay, yeah. Good thing I looked at that. As long as they don't take the booze, it's going to be fine. Keep left. Okay. My biggest concern is the eggs that I have in our refrigerator. Even though I hard boiled them, they could take them if they really wanted to, that whole bird flu thing. And the booze. <laughs> we have more alcohol than we're technically supposed to have. Although we couldn't find although we couldn't find how much you're technically supposed to have as an American coming into Canada. That's it's really confusing. So we can play dumb and we're not necessarily going to get in trouble, but it doesn't mean that they're either not going to slap a big fine on us, although I've heard it's not that much, or they'll just want to take it. And that's what will make me want to go, never mind, I'll delay my trip, I'll just have a party tonight for all the people that don't exist in this area, because there's nothing out here. And the cats. Worst case scenario, we have to go to a vet tomorrow and get a health certificate. They've got all their shot records. They're up to date on everything. And they're stinking cute. How could you say no to that? Who doesn't want that in their country? Right? Getting close. They don't want you filming, so be careful. They could see us. Okay. Here we go. He looks nice. Hello. Hi guys. Hello. Where are you guys in the motorhome? Yes, sir. Where do you guys live? We live in Dallas, Texas. Where are you guys going? We're going to Alaska, but first we're hitting uh, Lake Louise, Jasper, and Banff. What's your license plate number on the motorhome? <laughs> I know the car. <laughs> Any idea if you have your registration? Yes, oh yeah. It's our travel website. We're just bloggers. Um, they don't actually put the license plate number on here. I have the VIN number. What's the car plate? BH2 Y336 and it's a Texas plate. No, it's registered to Fleetwood, which is the company that owns the they own and manufacture this RV. We're uh, testing it. It's a brand new coach. So we're putting it through the the most difficult test they could possibly imagine. <laughs> we're popular, I guess. <laughs> Have uh, you both been here before? Yes, sir. Yeah, you too? Yes. Yeah. How long are you guys planning on staying in Canada? In Canada, about 20 days. Yeah. And then we'll be in Alaska for two months or so, and then probably another 20 or 30 days in Canada. Are you guys traveling with any 
No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. We're Democrats. No pepper spray, no mace. No. no, sir. No, sir. No. No, sir. No. Uh, no, no, sir. Thank you very much. Have a Thanks. good one. Okay. We're off. Thank you. How easy was that? They didn't, didn't even ask to see the cat's papers, luckily. Um, they didn't ask us about booze. They didn't ask us about booze. Thank goodness. Uh, that was it. <sighs> we made it. We made it. Show them what it looks like. Oh. This is Canada. Yes. Uh, Welcome to Canada. It looks exactly the same. A. A. Not all Canadians say that. No. But a lot do. <laughs> Don't want to get a skinny ticket here.